The playlist feature enables the configuration of a number of applications which are broadcasted and automatically changed on each screen. In this demo, you can see that the main computer is connected to two screens, located in rooms 123 and 456. We will run the following applications for room 123. The VLC media player for playing movies, PowerPoint viewer, viewer for presentations, and the Internet Explorer for running websites. Room 456 will run the Internet Explorer, PowerPoint, and the NoviSign player. We will now set the timer for each screen's playlist. This will determine the time intervals for the running of each application. Click on the Options menu, go to Scheduler Settings, and click on the Playlist setting. The following window will open. For screen 123, we'll set the interval for one minute. As you can see, the time can be set by minutes, hours, etc. Press Apply to save the settings. For room 456, let's set the timer for two minutes, then press Apply. Pressing the Play button will start the timer only for this specific screen. To run the playlist in room 123, I need to select it from the list above and press pl the Play button. Alternatively, I can multi-select both screens from here or from here. Then press the play button. As you can see, the playlist started playing on both screens, changing the content according to our preset preferences. The playlist function allows only one application to run on each screen at a given time. If I want to stop the playlist from running, I will press the stop button. The last running application will remain open on the screen. To change the time settings of a running playlist, I need to press options, schedule settings, Playlist settings, set the new time and reset the timer by pressing the stop button, then the play button. This will reset the playlist according to the new time settings. Thank you for watching our tutorial on how to use the playlist feature. Please subscribe to Monitors Anywhere YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook for news and updates.